Yes, yeah, so no question was really off limits. We talked to him about the insurance crisis. He says he'll work with the insurance commissioner, elect Tim Temple to try to help people out. He realizes that is preventing people from buying homes and really hurting a lot of people hit by Hurricane Ida. He also talked job growth. He says he wants to attract jobs to the state. Too many people are leaving Louisiana and heading to other southern states like Florida, Texas, and Tennessee. But we really honed in on crime. That was one of the key things that he campaigned on. He says he has a plan for New Orleans. That includes bringing in more state troopers and possibly peeling back a lot of the criminal justice reforms that were put in place. We asked him specifically, will he be involved in New Orleans when it comes to crime? Take a listen to what he had to say. We are coming into that city. We are going to have a plan. That plan is going to be well thought out. It's going to be structural. It's going to include all of the stakeholders. As you saw, we've already had an agreement with Jason Williams, and, and we look forward to visiting with the judges and everyone else inside the criminal justice system so that we can stem the tide of violence and bring that city to its full potential. We cannot address economic op opportunity in New Orleans unless we address crime. And let me ask you this. When you say you're coming into the city of New Orleans, look, it's a Democratic city. It's a majority mm -hmm. black city. There are no citywide Republican elected officials. You are a Republican. Can you work with Latoya Cantrell and the council members there to get a delicate balance where it doesn't look like you're coming in to take it over, but you can also try to help the issues that New Orleans is facing? Well, absolutely. Look, I can work with anyone. We'll see if he practices what he preaches in the years to come. Obviously, he formed a task force on the city of New Orleans and considers it a priority for the state of Louisiana. Also, when it comes to hiring cops, he's completely against the consent decree and is on the same side as Latoya Cantrell, the mayor, and feels like that consent decree needs to come to an end immediately with the federal government. We'll have more of this exclusive interview coming up at 5 and 6 o'clock. For now, we're live at the Capitol. I'm Travers Mackle, WDSU News.